हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग तो की हाल चाल सब चंगा सी इफ यस देन बढ़िया नहीं तो डू लेट मी नो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस प्रॉब्लम इट्स नॉट दैट हार्ड लाइक इट्स वेरी स्टैंडर्ड प्रिटी बेसिक इफ यू जस्ट गेट टू नो के हाउ एवरीथिंग इज हैपनिंग इट्स वेरी गुड इट्स वेरी इजी लेट्स सी द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इटसेल्फ इट सेज ओके लाइक प्रॉब्लम इज रिस्टोर द एरे अ प्रोग्राम वॉज सपोज टू प्रिंट एन एरे ऑफ इंटीजर्स विच मीन्स द प्रोग्राम विच वी वॉन्टेड वॉज सपोज टू प्रिंट द एरे ऑफ इंटीजर्स Let's say one fifty seven sixty three like this, like array of integers. The program forgot to print white spaces, and the array is printed as a string. So basically, rather than printing one fifty seven sixty three, it printed one five seven six three like this. So it just printed that string. And also, and all we know is that all integers in the array were in the range of one to k. We just know okay, all these integers in the array were in the range of some one to k. Between this range, it can't be zero. It can't be more than k. Cool. Um, now, and there are no leading zeros in the array, which means any number it sh it can't have a leading zero. Which means zero five seven it can't happen. It will always be a five seven or a one zero. If zero comes, then given the string s. Now we are not having the array a. We are having the string s. And the integer k because every array element should be in range of one to k. Return the number of possible arrays. So we have to find the possible arrays that can be printed as s. So basically, we if we are having s, we have to find all the possible arrays because array can have multiple elements. Because see the same thing, I can write it as one like fifteen seven sixty three or one five seven six. Three uh, or one five seven sixty three. So basically, it, a string can be converted to multiple arrays. So we have to find all number of all such possible arrays which can be printed as S using the mentioned program, which is the above program which we are told. Since the answer can be pretty large, number of arrays can be pretty large. So we have to print modulo one nine plus seven. Let's look at the example to get it more clear that what it is saying. We are having the string S. We are having the k number which is the bound of that particular array element. Because every array element should be in the range of one to k. Cool. Now let's see if we are having this string, right? So one for short thought comes in our mind is as I was seeing earlier. If my if my array was if my array was like this, right? One five seven six three and the string was this. So it is for short one normal thought comes in our mind is that okay? First element of string. So basically, for sure, the array would start with one, but it can also start with one five. It can also start with one five seven. It can also start with one five seven six. It can also start with one five seven six three, because as the first element of this string is one, so it just say okay, array element can the first array element it can be one only. It can be one five, which means fifteen. It can be one five seven, which means one seventy. A one fifty seven. It can be one five seven six, which is one thousand five hundred seventy six, and so on. So it is one thought which comes in mind. Okay, the first element of the array it can be one, and let's say remaining will whatsoever with this remaining string will happen. Okay, it will happen. Next possible option is okay. The first element is thirteen. Then whatsoever remaining string we have. Okay, it's good. Next possible option is it is one thirty one, and the remaining element is let's say seven. Like we will see. Okay. How it will happen, uh, and one possible option is okay. The first element itself is a one three one seven. Now, if I had chosen first element as one, so the next future thing which comes in my mind is okay. The remaining part is three one seven, which I have to analyze again. How? Again, I can do okay. If the first element was one, okay. Now I have to concern about three one seven. But same thing can be applied here. Three one seven is here. Then. You can start with three. You can start with three one. You can start with three one seven itself. So here the remaining part will be if I start with three, remaining part will be one seven. Here the remaining part will be seven. Here the remaining part will be nothing. As it is done, you saw what happened. One was always here because one you have chosen. Okay, first element I have chosen one. Now I am looking for the second element. For the second element, the number of possible ways are all these. Three, three one, three one seven, and so on. Like for this, if I had first element as one three, 
the next possible option for one seven is nothing but it can have one only or one seven for this seven it can only have one option because it's just one element so it is just one element which is seven here it is exactly the same because it is itself the numbers is completed so i can't have no more options here if i go on and look more then you can see that's one seven which we actually saw here also exactly same it also has same option one or one seven then here the seven is remaining and it it only has only one option which is a seven as we saw here also if only seven was remaining then seven when you're looking at this example, okay, you got to know that how these number, and you can see 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sorry, I just counted again. 1, okay, it is exactly the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. In total, 8 ways. Now you got to know how, okay, how mentally the answer is being prepared, and you also got to know, okay. At every point of time, you have the repeating sub-problems. It looks like recursion, looks like repeating sub-problems. For sure, it's a DP problem. But before moving on, let's look at the example 1 and 2 because I've seen many students being confused how the answer of example 1 and 2 is coming. If we go and look, then we can easily see for this string, again, I have four options i can have one i can have one zero i can have one zero zero i can have one zero 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 i can have one remaining part i have to analyze is zero 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 if i have one zero remaining part i have to analyze is zero zero if i take the first element as one zero zero then the remaining part i have to analyze is only zero if i have the first element as one thousand i have remaining part i don't have to analyze so it's okay done here if i see zero 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 no matter what I do, if I start with a zero, it's not a valid case because I can't have a leading zero. If, let's say, if I include this whole thing, it's not possible. Which means, let's say if I have included this first zero with the first element, which means the element would have been something like this, then also it would have started again from zero. Still not possible because again, leading zero. Let's say if I have included the same element again with this, first element then it would have be one zero zero but still it start again with zero so it's also not the case it's, it's, also, not, it's also not the only possible way is one which is this one thousand that's the answer is one if we look at the next example then it's one thousand k is ten same i just again go and went did one zero zero not and we saw it's not possible it's not possible it's not possible it is possible but the number is more than k but our condition was it should be in the range of 1 to k the number formed is 1000 which is actually more than 10 thus it is not the good answer okay we got to know that we have the repeating sub problems we got to know that for every element for every index let's say if i start with this index i'll just go on to the every of those possible number from the first index which means if i have the number like say one three seven six five two then i start with this index i just go on to every possible number which means one first element it can be one it can be one three it can be one seven it can be one one three one seven it can be one three one seven six it can go it can go it can go like something like this cool very good but you know you have to stop also what was the, what was the stopping condition Stopping condition was that your k, whatsoever is given, your number formed should be less than or equal to your k. Let's see what, what, what will happen. Firstly, we know, okay, it's a problem of db. Now, we are analyzing, okay, how we will, okay, we got to know that we will start from the one element. We will just uh, try for every of the length of this particular, uh, my string s. Because my first element, it can be 1, 1, 3, 1, 5, like so on. From the first element itself. But, 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 you know when to stop. For this, for this string right here, if I start with this index, I have to place the first element as 1. Okay, cool. Now the remaining string which I have to analyze is the remaining part, removing the 1. Okay, it's gone. Removing 1, it's gone. Or one option can be the first element is 1, 3. The remaining string I have to analyze is starting from 5. Cool. One option is it's 1, 3, 5. It means I have to analyze is this from starting from uh, 7 one option is it can be 1357 
Remember, after an analysis, this starting from six. One option is it can be one, three, five, seven, six. Remember, after an analyze from starting from eight. But, but, but you saw what happened here. This number have become more than my K. My K was 5,000. It has become more than my 5,000. I have to stop, which means I can't go beyond it, which means I can't go one, three, five, seven, six or beyond this because for sure beyond this number will for sure increase. If it is only stopping me, how can I go further? That's the reason. As you can see, the number, the number, which means one, three, five, seven, six, for sure, as soon as it becomes more than my K, I have to break down. I can't go further. It's the reason for every I, you will actually go on to the number of digits ways, which means you saw for I, for this first element, for this particular I, you just went on to how many ways? If this element, if this K has, let's say four digits. So as soon as the fifth digit comes, that number will become, because see, the number will have the five digits and the K will have four digits. So it will become for sure more than my K number will become for, for sure more than my K. So as soon as the number will become more than my K, which means the number of digits become more than my digits of K, I have to break. It's the reason for every I, I can at max go up to number of digits of K, which is nothing but log k base 10 it's just number of digits how we can show we can you can also count the number of digits it's nothing very easy it's just one two three four four digits so for every i i can at max go to four digits because after that the number will become more than my k we have to do the same thing i just go okay for this element for this for this for this and just I just ask, okay, what is the number of ways for this? 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 As we do in a standard DP, what it will help us, it will just help us compute. If you just go and look back, let's see if I just have, okay, I have this particular example. If you just go, okay, one possible option is one three. Now one seven, it can produce me two ways. This one seven, it can produce me two ways this same one seven it can produce me two ways now i have stored this one seven let's say it can produce two ways it can produce two ways so when i am standing at this it was i equal to zero it was i equal to one but still the sub problem is same so it will just return me two it will return me two because i have computed this so i don't have to repeat the same problem again and again that is all let's so see the code pretty quickly it's pretty easy firstly i just have my array of dp because i have to do a memoization then i, I just call my function it you can name it as function efs anything it's just we do like we do a normal recursive call so we just we can call it anything now comes the interesting part first the very standard base case as we are moving from i equal to zero to the like we are actually moving on the whole string right your string um yeah your whole string you are moving on the string because your i starts from zero then go 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 so as soon as your i reaches the end for sure you have no okay you have found some or the other array that is the reason you will just return okay one array is found okay one way has found if at any point of time you see your s of i as zero you have to return a zero because you saw earlier that as as i see s of i is zero there are no no possible chance that we can have any of those possible strings starting from i equal uh, from that i okay base cases are done memoization part if i have already computed that particular i which means as you can see here i had already computed for my let's say s of oh damn yeah okay it's it's just got hand lovely uh yeah if i have computed let's say for my i equal to two which means it has been computed already. So I'll just return the value. Same thing which we did. Cool. Now comes the interesting part. I'll just start from that particular index i. I just try to go on to my entire array. But until my number becomes more than k, I'll just break it. Which means it is actually going on up till the length of k. Because beyond that, it will just be broken down. 
as my as soon as my number becomes more than k i have to break it but if it is not then every time i am just computing starting from i see it is i and your j is actually going like this stretching 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 so you have your number is being computed starting from i and j is just moving 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 so your number is becoming bigger as soon as this number becomes more than k then you have to just break down okay you are just uh, making your number 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 and this number is starting from i itself which means if you are if you are standing at i equal to 0 and it is this then your j is moving like this like this like this and the number is becoming 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 like this cool and uh, good 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 very good um let's see if the number becomes more than k you just break down answer you will compute okay whatsoever answer you have right now plus whatsoever answer your next part which is j plus 1 can bring which means which means which means that whatsoever i have answer right now okay this let's see if i have one way to get it whatsoever this can bring it can bring me i have two possible ways so i can have okay it can bring me two possible ways whatsoever answer i can bring from me i just get it because i just i'm computing the same answer again and again so i'll just add that particular sub part one okay whatsoever my other part like the right part can bring i'll just get it and for sure i have to do a modulo so i am doing a modulo ultimately storing doing a memoization and storing that answer for that variable i in my dp and that's pretty much it complexity is nothing but o of n into log k to the base 10 as i showed you for every of the i i can actually go on up till the digits of k showed you right for this i i just went on to the four digits one two three four not beyond that it's the reason for every i am just going on to the digits of k that's the reason complexity of, o of n into log k space is nothing but o of n because you are just using the standard dp array of length n that's pretty much it code of c plus plus java and python is down below for your reference it's exactly the same code as we saw above in explanation i hope that you guys liked it if yes then do the like button as you can learn goodbye take care